Hello everyone and welcome to this another episode of Book Time with Elvis. Two videos in the same day, who would have thought it? This one's got nothing to do with football. Uh, it's more something uh, personal and a little bit exciting, at least from my side. Now, those of you who've watched my channel and when I talk about you know best books or books I really love will know that one of my favourite all-time books is Three Men in a Boat by Jerome K. Jerome. Now, um, I have a birthday coming up, but that's not too important. But my mum sent me uh, a box of uh, books, all uh, wrapped up. Um, but one of them was wrapped up for its protection. It's actually a book I already owned. And it's a really uh, terrible condition copy of Three Men in a Boat. It's been in my family for a long time. I took it from my grandmother's house when I was a teenager. Um, my father remembers reading it a lot when he was a kid and it was uh, it was quite bad condition uh, as well anyway you know I, I like it I like the fact that it's kind of in, in bad nick and all this stuff you can see here you know one of my grandmother's dogs at some time uh, probably ate the spine there it's been recovered in this terrible way I suppose this it's I don't even know what it is that was covered in and uh, someone's even written or try to write, I think, in pen, three men in a boat on the uh, on the spine there. So it's really poor, poor condition. And uh, it's as you can see, it's been recovered or tried to be one. Someone stuck all this in here. And then I noticed at the back, it's 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 ripped. And underneath, unfortunately, there's some advertisements there, which is really cool. It's a shame they've been they've been covered up. And uh, I was looking through it, and you know, I thought, oh, this is really nice. And I looked at the first page here. I don't know how well you can see that. The first page there. And it says, you know, published in Bristol by J.W. Arrowsmith, 11 Key Street. Uh, oh, it says, yeah, 11 Key Street, London. And uh, 1889, all rights reserved. And I thought, 1889, that's pretty old, isn't it? You know, it's probably pretty close to when uh, the book itself was published. Lo and behold, it is. It is a first edition, despite its wrong cover. It should be blue. Uh, somehow, as I say, it's been... I, I don't know what it is. Someone has really stuck this on here. So I don't know what the hell, what on earth happened to it in the past. But it is a first edition of uh, Three Men in a Boat by Jerome King Jerome. And that, for me, is fantastic because, as I say, it's one of my favourite books of all time. Of course, it's a shame it's not in its original... Uh, condition or in its original cover and you can see that the condition is is really poor but what makes it even better for me uh you know in terms of a um sentimental value rather than a monetary value is the fact that there's some initials in it you can probably see written at the top there fa thomas and you know i recognized um the initial. At first, I kind of thought it was my great aunt. Um, I had um, uh, a maiden aunt, like I guess a lot of people uh, had at some point. Um, this woman who lived with my uh, grandparents, um, and she was actually F. R. Thomas. So then it wasn't her. Yeah. Um, and I found out that. Let me go back. About 10 years ago, maybe a bit more, I started doing ancestry. You know, I started doing the genealogy and I did the family tree. And um, I had uh, on my family tree a Francis A. Thomas. Francis A. Thomas. And that's my great, great grandfather. And it's really cool for me that my own research was kind of vindicated uh, and confirmed by a book that I've actually had, you know, in my in my family since it was bought um and to me that's just really cool you know i could um you know i could wish that it was maybe worth the uh, you know six to eight hundred pounds that it might be worth looking on online but i would never sell it anyway even if it was worth that so yeah it's just a, a cool little thing that for all these years i've owned the first edition of a book and especially a book that for me is you know one of my favorite books of all time and I would never have known it because it's uh, been disguised by this bizarre cover. I, I, I don't know if it's, yeah, it's, it's cloth of some sort, but it's, it's been definitely re, rebound. And as I say, um, 
everything else certainly fits in with it. The, you know, the page count, the number of pages showing advertisements at the back, uh, the series as it's mentioned in there. Um, everything is exactly the same. So I'm pretty sure uh, that is indeed what's happened. And it would fit in because uh, Francis A. Thomas was born in 1853. And so he perfectly well could have bought it when it was new. And then I think it's really cool that uh, somehow it ended up with his his daughter, my 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 great aunt. And then I guess when she passed, my grandparents kept it. And at some point, I took it, um, you know, took it home. And it sat there. And now it's in the Czech Republic. So it spent, you know, a hundred and whatever years um, in my family in England. And now it's come uh, to me here in the Czech Republic. So this is maybe where it ends its life, or who knows, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, I'm rambling, but I just thought that was something a little bit different and maybe a bit interesting because we were only talking about it recently uh, that we may do a buddy read of this and I'm definitely going to do it now. Uh, and I really, it would be great if other people join it. I probably won't read this one because it will probably fall apart by the time I, uh, I finish it. I do have a few other copies. So yeah, if you want to join in, comment below. So thank you very much. I'll stop there and excuse the perspiration. It's really, really hot today and I had to turn off the phone to make the video and I'm positively melting. Take care, everyone. Stay cool. All the best. Bye-bye.